Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine with Annabella's. Welcome back to Floss Tube number 25. I can't believe I've done 25 of these videos, but I'm very, very happy to be here. And I hope all of you had a really nice week and that you got in lots of stitching time and sewing time and paper crafting time. Um, so I'm very glad that you're here. Last week, I don't know, I didn't do much. I um, did get a lot of stitching done, as far as I'm concerned, but I'll show you in a minute. And then um, the baby is due in three weeks, so I'm busy thinking about that most of the time and having baby dreams, so we're very excited for Andrew and Jamie. Um, and then, uh, let's see, gardening. So it's getting very hot here in South Florida. I think our temperatures have been in the upper 80s, low 90s. And then we've had some really bad afternoon thunderstorms. So all my potted plants, which I do a lot of gardening in pots, um, they're all starting to die. So I'm very sad. I'm gonna have to go to Lowe's and maybe you know stock up on some, some new plants for summer that are more Florida resistant. Um, so I'm kind of sad about my garden. Um, and we are, we've got the boat bug. So we're kind of toying around with, are we gonna get a boat? Are we not gonna get a boat? Are we gonna get jet skis? Are we not gonna get jet skis? So summer, you know, causes me to wanna be on the water all the time. So I'm trying to decide, you know, how, what that's gonna look like this year. Um, and imagining myself on a jet ski kind of puts the fear of God into me. So I don't think that's a really good idea. Terry's pushing for jet skis and I'm thinking, and have you seen me fall down recently? Because it happens a lot. Mm, I'm very clumsy. So I, I do tend to trip over my own feet. I trip over flat surfaces. So being on a jet ski is probably not a good idea. So we'll see how that goes. We're thinking about it though. Um, let's see what else I did. That's it really. It's been quiet. It's been very, it's been nice. It's been a nice quiet week. Store was busy, um, you know, so um, I've got lots of new haul to show you. We have our wonderful new feature, the Friday uh, designer. So I'm gonna share that with you today. So let me get started and just show you what I have been working on. So let me show you the sad little one first. I'm not making as much progress on flea market flowers as I'd like. Um, I think I have wishful thinking when I start stitching, but I got some done. So I finished the I finished these two flowers down here. So um, you know those are coming along nice. So when you look at the pattern, you know there you go. So I've done no I'm I'm over here. So I've done this this and two of the flowers there. So it's a fun stitch though. I really am enjoying this, um, you know, so I don't know. I'll work on it more this weekend. But I do like flea marker flowers, very pretty. Lori Holt, love Lori Holt, throw that up here. Okay, then um, I had a start last week or the week before and I started the Prairie Schooler series and I started with 2006 because I absolutely love this and it reminds me of me. Um, so I made quite a bit of progress this week. So there you go, look at that. I told you I'd finish this coat and I'm just about done. Um, I'll probably finish all of this this weekend. And let's see, I'll probably start, I'll probably start his head uh, this weekend and maybe get that done. Uh, but I do have three, I have, some, I have some store haul for Elaine. I have Elaine haul this week that I'll show you. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna start those or not. Uh, but this is coming along nicely. I'm very happy with it. So that is it for my works in progress. Um, I'm gonna start, well, I've got quite a bit to show you today. So let me start with a couple of kits that came in. Let me get a sip of coffee. Mm. This is a beautiful kit by Perman. Perman is a Scandinavian um, designer. Their kits are absolutely gorgeous. This comes on um, in the kit is 14 count Ada. So if you're new to stitching, this would be a really nice kit to put in your stash. It has the floss and of course the floss organizer, which is always really great to have. And um, I just thought this was so pretty. I love birdhouses. And did I show you this last week? I don't know, I might have, but either way, it, it's finally here. I think I might've showed you a photo last week, but this came in, so this is available in the shop. Then we got in some Ursula Michaels patterns. This I love. I have this both in kit format and in just the pattern. So this is holiday beach signs. So if you live on the coast or you live in Florida or you are by the beach or you just love to be um, 
this is what Florida looks like in the winter with, with our, with our seasonal <laughs> Christmas decorations, but I just love this. So I might, I might, I might do this myself. I don't know. So what do you think? Cute, huh? Good little sand bucket. So cute. Then Mary Inglebright, we have her new pattern for Christmas. This is Oh Christmas Tree Santa. That is a really nice pattern by Mary Inglebright. I do not have this in a kit, but that is available. At least I don't think I have it in a kit. And then Witchy Treats. Witchy Treats is here. So that's a fun pattern. Trick or treat. Very cute with all the Halloween candy. And then I, this is back in stock. This was a really big seller last year and I couldn't keep it in stock. So when I saw that it was available, I went ahead and grabbed, I think I have eight copies of this. This is Winds of Autumn. This is the book by um, Blackbird Designs. And it's absolutely filled um, with all kinds of beautiful seasonal uh, autumn uh, patterns. So there's Spell of the Moon, October 31st, um, a sister's love. Let me see how many pages this is. So it's a big book, it's 52 pages. So let's see inside the back cover. And then there's the back cover. So if you wanna grab this, it's in the shop, available now. Then Carol Manning Designs came out with something really cute. I only got a couple of these, but I thought I'd show it. This is called the Pollinators. So if you like gnomes, you might like these guys. Look at how cute they are. Wouldn't that be fun? I love this fabric too. I wish I knew what this fabric was. Let me see if she says what it is. Do, 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 do. 14 count pale blue. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't look like pale blue. That looks like navy blue to me, but you know, don't shoot the messenger. But that is a cute little pattern and that's available. It's only $7 too. Then we got in, it's coming, are these coming today? No, these will be here on Monday. So Waxing Moon Designs, brand new, Halloween Street. If you love Waxing Moon Designs, of course, you'll absolutely love this pattern. And of course, you can do all three of these designs, which are included. So that's Halloween Street. And then Little House Needleworks just came out with her October um, uh, sampler. And this is it here. So you can read that, because I'm not gonna read it to you. And it's upside down in my camera, so. So that is available. Then Les Petites came out with their Independence Day, 4th of July tray. This is absolutely gorgeous. We can never keep their trays in stock. Um, these are available. They will be in the store on Monday. So if you wanna grab it, I would highly suggest you do so now. These come from Europe. So um, like I think I mentioned before, the Christmas tray, which we do have in stock, last year I could not even restock it by the end of November. So a lot of people weren't able to get it, but um, this one is absolutely beautiful. And I will be adding this to my personal stash. Won't do it this year, but I'm definitely gonna do it next year because I just love these trays. I love all of the trays in their series. And you can search for Les Petites on my uh, Etsy shop and it'll pull up all the different trays that they have. Then Lori Holt, for all our Lori Holt fans, we have um, three new items that are coming out. Our distributor, which is It's So Emma. <laughs> my back, good Lord. This is why I shouldn't go on a jet ski. I'll probably, you know, cripple myself. Um, anyway, Lori Holt uh, has come out with three new patterns. These are available for pre-order only. Snowballs for Sale is right here. It is absolutely stinking adorable. And we have put together a floss pack for you. And then this morning, I'm calling my distributor to make sure that I can get the buttons, which I'm sure I can. So we're gonna be able to offer both the pattern and the floss pack, which you can order right now. And then later today, check back, and I will have the buttons listed both with the pattern itself as an option. And then I'll, I'll probably list six of the, the button packs separately in the shop for people who just want buttons. Um, but Snowball's for sale. This is gonna be a very, very big seller. It is absolutely adorable. And again, it's by Lori Holt. And then she also has come out with a brand new pattern called Hello Summer. This will be available in July, which remember that's only a week from now, um, but you can pre-order it now in the shop. I just love those popsicles. Uh, we actually have these in our refrigerator right now, the Bomb Pops. <laughs> At least we used to call them Bomb Pops when I was a kid. They're the red, white, and blue. 
um, just yummy, yummy popsicles in my refrigerator or my freezer every summer. So I thought that was really cute and that's available in the shop. And then she has come out with a brand new book, her flea market quilt book. This is going to be also available in July. It's available now to pre-order. It's over 64 pages um, and it's going to include patterns to make all of these different quilts. And if you want a closer look at what quilts are here on the Etsy shop, when you go to the listing, I've got a couple pictures that she released uh, that you guys can take a peek at. But if you love flea market and you love that style of quilting and sewing, you're going to want to grab this. It's a brand new release by Lori, and I'm very excited that we are going to be carrying it for you. So you can go ahead and check that out. And then um, last, this is part 12 of her Prim Stitch series, and it's called Hands and Heart to God. This is the final release in the Prim Stitch series. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I just love that. And again, it's hands and heart to God. We do carry all 12 of the Prim Stitch patterns. So if you love this series, you can go ahead and check it out. Um, I just think this is beautiful. So these are available and they're in stock right now. And then the Prairie Schooler, I've got th four new items to show you from the Prairie Schooler. Okay, so, um, I don't know if you know, for new new people, let me just tell you, they um, no longer uh, create new patterns. So all of their patterns are reprints, um, but they're done very, very well. So this is a, a cardstock. So this is, you know, very big, um, there's the back. And this is a series called Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. So in this pattern, you'll receive, in this chart, you'll receive uh, one to four. So you're gonna get the design for all four of the Prairie Schooler Santas, one through four. So we have that available. So that's one to four. This is five to eight. So five to eight is available. I just love that swan. Reminds me of my Aunt Millie's. Again with Aunt Millie, right? She just pops up all the time. And that is a beautiful swan and it's made out of wood. And I am sure that if Aunt Millie was alive right now, that would be sitting in her house. So just love that. And then we have Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. This is nine through 12. So really just a great uh, 12 Days of Christmas series by Prairie Schooler that they've just re-released. So if you want them, uh, you can go ahead and grab them. They're in the shop. And then they, Prairie Schooler does have a monthly um, chart. So every, I think we have January, I think we have all of them, but this is October. So this just came out and I fell in love with it because you know, autumn is my favorite time of year. So that is October. And this is available in the shop right now. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. Love the pumpkins, love the log home. Kind of reminds me of our home in Maggie Valley. Just so pretty. Even the door, I love it, very sweet. So that's that. Then for all of you that love Shannon Christine, hello folks, that is now available. Look at those colors, aren't those beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So that is available in the shop. Oh, I'm running out of room here. I'm gonna get another sip of coffee. I'm dragging today, people. Let me just tell you, I am dragging. I am glad it's Friday. I'm tired. I have no energy. My energy level, can you tell it's kind of, let me, let me see if I can sit up straighter and, and get my energy back. Okay. So this is Mill Hill and this is Halloween. This is called, this is called sticks. It's just the type of design, um, that they, they branded under, but this is happy Halloween. And this kit is available right now. I just love that. And then we got another kit in. This is, and I'm going to show you, this is Garden Sampler. So isn't that pretty for summer? And I wanted to just give you a close-up of what's included in the kit, so I opened it. So the floss comes like this, so you got to open it up and you've got to separate all your colors. Um, and then of course, you know, the, they have their chart, so you have all your directions. And then this is the perforated paper. It's really hard to see. This is the, let me see if I put something behind it, if you can see it better. This is the perforated paper that it comes on. It's very, very thin. So, and it's very easy to stitch on, but it does take just a minute to get used to it if you haven't stitched on it before. But don't let the type of perforated paper um, 
you know, stop you from trying a Mill Hill kit. They're phenomenal. And then look at this beautiful button. The buttons are all handmade. And that is the button that comes with this. Isn't that cute? So that's the new kit. It's called Garden and Sampler, and that is available in the shop too. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm gonna show you my haul. So I told you the store got a lot of haul. So Elaine's haul is, I'm gonna start the Little House Needleworks uh, Christmas ornaments over the next year. I, I, I'm probably not gonna get them all done in a year, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. And I'm not starting with number one. I'm starting with the, three of my favorites. Um, and there are 21 patterns so far in the, char in the series. So go to the website and type in Hometown Holiday Series. Uh, for Little House Needleworks, and you'll see them all come up. Um, my son is currently in school studying to be a firefighter, paramedic, and EMT, and I thought that I would stitch this up for him. So that is a, that's Firehouse. So um, think of a little, a home, a small town, and think of all the different types of shops and businesses that would be in the town. Um, and of course, every town has a firehouse, and of course, every town has a little cardinal. <laughs> So there you go. Isn't that cute? And then because I own both a needle workshop and a quilt shop, I thought that I would do needle workshop. So I'm going to stick that. I've added that to my stash. And then quilt shop, I've also added that to my stash. So that's Elaine's haul for the week. I didn't have a lot of things that, that I shopped for, but these three are definitely um, now at home, sitting on my table, waiting to be stitched. So, okay. So we are doing our Friday featured designer, and it was a big hit. All the feedback I got from all of you was that you really like it. Um, so you'll see her in our newsletter today, and I'm gonna go ahead. There is no way on God's green earth that I can show you all of the patterns that we carry uh, for Plum Street samplers. The designer is Paulette Stewart. She is absolutely phenomenal. She creates beautiful, beautiful, beautiful designs. And I know that you see them because I share them periodically here on my floss tube. Um, but I want to show you some of the top sellers and some of the ones that are very, very popular so that if you haven't seen her work before, you'll get a chance to see the different types of styles that she has. And then I encourage you to go to my website, uh, to my Etsy shop and check it out. Uh, in the newsletter today, if you haven't signed up, be sure to sign up for the newsletter. It'll probably go out by lunchtime. And uh, there'll be a link in the newsletter and it will take you to the category in the shop that'll have all the Plum Street sampler designs. So let me start with some, uh, these are in no random order, by the way. I mean, I'm gonna go pretty quick um, because there's a lot of them that I'm gonna show you. This is sweater weather. Oh no, again with the glare. There's sweater weather. Then she has a series called Sampler House, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, six in the series. This is Sampler House one. And we have Sampler House two. Sampler House three, which is perfect to stitch up in July. Remember, you don't have to do anything in order. Sampler House four. Five. And six. Who knows what I'm saying? This is this is autumn. This is more like for autumn. So that's the Sampler House series. Then um, Adam loves the animals. Is one of her very popular designs. That's available. A country winter is my absolute favorite because Grandma's house in Buffalo was a big white house, um, and I do not have this in my stash. Why do I not have this in my stash? I'm gonna have to look. You know what's happening? My sash is getting so big, I'm gonna have to start a spreadsheet because I have no clue what is in that in that end end. Um, but I think that this is not there. So I'm gonna check and you can hold me to that because if it's not there, it's going to be. A Country Winter, absolutely one of my, if not my all time favorite designs of Paulette's. Then we have Harvest Delivery. And if you're thinking ahead to autumn, I'm gonna show you some really great patterns. Olga's Tart one of our most popular items, along with Olga's Autumn Stocking. This is absolutely beautiful. Both are available right now. Buzz Off, huge. <laughs> I love this. You know what, I would love to stitch this up for Terry and hang it up in his man cave. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know I'm not being very nice today. I, don't, I have my mean girl on, um, but buzz off. Isn't that cute? Terry's okay. He's behaving. Okay, then jeans and weenies. I've showed you this before, but here it is again. And then um, kind of along that same line is uh, because, you know, the jeans and weenies has little hot dog dogs. And they are, here is Winter Wienerland. So another great design by Paulette. And then I've shown this before, but I'll show it again because I said when I feature a designer, I'm going to show some of their most popular um, designs or series. And this is her salt box series. So she has winter salt boxes. Winter, spring, summer, and autumn. So aren't those cool? So Paula is, is phenomenal. Like I said, Plum Street Samplers is a great company and she spends a great deal of time, you can tell, really thinking about and designing these beautiful charts for all of us to enjoy. So if you haven't checked her out, please do. I'm sure she would really appreciate it. And let's see, what else do we have today? Okay, I guess we'll go on to, oh, I have a little bit of, of haul. Okay, so Bella Bits is every Tuesday, um, but I decided, so it was just this past Tuesday, so you can go on and watch Bella Bits number four if you like to sew or quilt or you're interested in fabrics and patterns and things of that sort. Um, you can go ahead and check that out. Bella Bits is up and coming, um, but because it's different from cross stitch and we don't get in a store haul every week, I'm gonna be doing it every other week. So you won't see it this coming Tuesday, but it'll be the following Tuesday. Um, and I wanna show you this because although you may not, um, you know, you may watch it, I want you to see that we've got certain things in stock that a lot of you cross stitchers have purchased and this is back in stock. So this is Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This is the Bella Bundle and this is uh, both the red and white gingham and the Chelsea's Checks. Uh, we finally have this in stock. I'm so sorry to tell you that the black uh, gingham um, by, you know, the black Chelsea's Checks and the black Priscilla's Pretty Plaids uh, are still out of stock. I called Henry Glass fabrics the other day and they still are telling me maybe July so you know anybody who wanted to do finishing with that fabric I can't get it so um sorry but as soon as it's in I will be sure to let you know but I do have the red gingham in stock so you can go ahead and grab a Bella bundle then I put together two more Bella bundles for you that are new um, I know a lot of us are thinking ahead to fall stitching so this Bella bundle is called cozy up um, simply because we're going to be carrying the uh, Cory's Cory Yoder's uh, Coriander Quilts entire Cozy Up line, um, and the Bella Solids from Moda Fabrics came in soon, sooner. So I paired these up for you. You can add these to your stash. This would be great for any small sewing project, or if you're going to go ahead and use it for your cross stitch finishes, those are there. And then this one is Hope Blooms. Uh, that is also coming in uh, later this, you know, in the next month or so. And these are all the colors for Hope Blooms. So all of these Bella solids are available. This is one bundle. You can grab it, stick it in your stash, and then you will have it for anything. Any of your cross stitch finishes, any small projects, but it'll be great to have for fall. Um, what else? I guess that's it. So let's see. Last week, we're going to do our contest winners now. Last week, we asked you, how do you start your cross stitch projects? Do you start in the top, the middle? You know, where do you start? And then also, how do you start? Do you use the loop method? Do you, you know, uh, stitch over the, the tail and hide it that way? Um, and I appreciate everybody's comments. So be sure to go back and watch Floss Tube number 24. I think we had 60 or 70 comments. So everybody kind of popped in and, and shared um, with us how they begin their projects. So it's kind of fun to read everybody's remarks. Um, and then, of course, my, my little random contest picker, uh, YouTube random contest picker pick some names so let me give you the names of the winners for this week or for last week uh, Becky Cohn Laura Morris Mary Mokri and Kathy Morrison so thank you so much ladies for participating I really appreciate it in order to win you have to be sure that you've subscribed to our YouTube channel so please sure make sure you do that and then please email me at info at annabellas.net make sure to send me your home address and I will get your happy mail right out to you thanks so much I appreciate it and then this week's um 
question is how many strands of floss do you use? Now, let me tell you why I'm asking that. Where's mine? Okay. So here's why I'm asking. All right. So this is my work in progress right here. You see it? Can you see how the, how the, the fabric is showing through? So as I was stitching along, I've decided to be honest with you that I don't like the way that looks. I don't like seeing that. It looks kind of yucky to me, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not a big deal. So that led me to think, well, should I have used three strands instead of two? I don't know. So that's the question. How many strands of floss do you use when you stitch? And do you base it on the count of your ADA or do you base it on what what you see as you begin to stitch and then just start stitching with three strands? Um, or do you just use whatever the called four strands are in the pattern? I need to know. And I'm sure there's other people out there that would like to know. But, you know, I'm not real sure that I'm, I'm thrilled with this. So maybe when I do Santa's hat and his uh, stocking, which is part of this pattern, so maybe when I do the stocking and I do his hat and his beard uh, I, and his scissors, what I'm going to do just for my own edification is I'm going to use three strands and then I'll show this to you next week and you can tell me what you think. But that's why I'm asking this question because I'm not real thrilled with that. Although it does make it look a little bit antique right? A little vintage? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. So let me know. I want to know. Okay, so thanks so much. So glad you're here. Happy Friday. Hope you guys have a really, really nice weekend. I don't know if it's going to rain. Let me look out here and see. Oh, it's probably going to rain. It's always, it always rains here. Growing up in South Florida, I've lived here all my life pretty much. And every afternoon in the summer around four o'clock, we get the big thunder boomers that come in from the ocean. And um, sometimes it begins, they come from the west and they head east. And other times they start from the east and head west. Um, but I really love thunderstorms. They're, my sister and I are huge um, thunderstorm lovers. So uh, my perfect day, is particularly on a weekend and particularly I prefer Sundays, is to have afternoon thunderstorms and be in my pajamas and turn my air conditioning down to the, to the 70s, which drives Terry absolutely out of his mind and put on my cozy slippers and sit on my couch in my pajamas and just stitch. So that would be an ideal Sunday for me in the, in the summer. Although if we get a boat or a jet ski, you'll either find me A on the boat or B in the hospital from the jet ski, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, happy Friday. And please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would mean so much to me. I'd appreciate it. And be sure to like our page on Facebook. Annabella's shop is our Facebook page. It is public. Please be sure to like our page and then join our Facebook groups. The links are below. You can pick out whichever groups you feel that you would enjoy the most. Uh, we'd love to have you. And then last but not least, if you can follow us on Instagram, that would mean a lot. So thanks so much, everybody. It was great to see you. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.